Hello and welcome to Cancer Update number 145. It's been a bit of a while since I spoke to you and that's for the reasons that not a great deal has happened and as I've said to you in the past, I don't really wanna just make videos just to say, you know, everything's fine. I only like to uh, make a video when I've actually got something to say. And I don't have any big news to tell you. Everything has gone pretty well for the last couple of weeks, but I do have a few things to go through with you. And the first two things is to do with some fact checking from the previous video, from video 144. The first one is, and I'll flip over to the side here, I might pop it up on the screen over there. Uh, I noted the words incision XP on my discharge summary from my most recent hospital visit and I indicated that I thought that meant external physician. I was corrected in the comments uh, by some theatre staff that said it almost certainly stands for incision from xiphoid process to pubis. Now the xiphoid process um, is just there. It's where, it's where that V is at the bottom of your rib cage, uh, the, the southern end of your, of your sternum, if you want to put it that way. And the pubis is the, the top of the um, pelvic bone. And that is exactly where my incision starts and ends. So I'm very certain that those people that have corrected me have, have correctly corrected me. So that's what incision XP means, xiphoid process to pubis. The other thing that a few people commented on was whilst they hoped that my CEA and CA199 numbers were correct, they indicated that whenever in their practice they get numbers that are wildly unexpected, that there is a small chance that there was a problem at the lab and actually the numbers you've been given are incorrect. The way to get around that, that issue is to test again. So what I did, and again, I'll move off to the side, I noted that after my first operation, I had my results done 91 days after um, the operation and the second time round, I did my blood test. I think it was 62 days or something like that. As it turns out, today is 91 days since my operation and I gave another blood sample today. So when I get those results, which will be eight days from today, I'll be able to directly correlate my um, blood tests from 91 days after my first operation to 91 days after my second operation. And I'm hoping that the results come up good. So we'll see how that goes. I've noticed I've got a, got a, the light bouncing off the table, but I will make my face look weird. Uh, okay, so that's done. As far as the peripheral neuropathy goes, I've gone back on duloxetine and as soon as I went back on duloxetine, it was only uh, like on the second day of being back on it, I could feel my peripheral neuropathy was, was markedly better. So I, I've, to, for my body, and your body might have a different experience, but to my body, both PEA and duloxetine have a reducing effect on my peripheral neuropathy and they have a cumulative effect as well. So when you take them together, together you get a better result than when you take just one or the other for me. Uh, and what I've done is, in addition to that, I've backed my PEA off from 1,000 milligrams morning and night back to 500 milligrams morning and night, and it doesn't seem to have made too much of a difference. So um, I probably was overdosing myself on the PEA um, when I was doing 1,000 milligrams morning and night. Now, the other thing that's happened since I last spoke to you is Caroline has become a year older. She's had a birthday and we did some things to celebrate that. So the first thing was I bought Caroline tickets to see Stephen Fry, the, um, the British, um, I was going to say comedian, but he, he's more than that. He's um, uh, a thinker and a comedian. And, and Caroline and I both love him. So I bought Caroline a ticket to Stephen Fry. Um, I thought it might be nice for her to have a night out without me. And also I wasn't really that keen on um, spending that long in, in a what I was imagining for me would be an uncomfortable chair uh, because of my, my back issues. So Caroline went to that on her own and she absolutely loved it. The other thing uh, that I did was I booked another massage for her um, and I had one while the, while the masseuse was here as well uh, because we, we've definitely hit on a winner 
that um, Caroline and I both love these in-house massages and, um, and we did that and that was great. So Caroline had just a wonderful birthday, um, very, very happy. It prompted me to ask Caroline, um, if you were, that classic question, if you were to have a, a dinner party, what three people, who, who would you invite? And Caroline immediately said, well, Stephen Fry, definitely. And for the second and third person, I'd probably take Joanna Lumley and I'd take you, because I want you to experience it as well, which I thought was lovely. Uh, so that's Caroline three, Stephen Fry, Joanna and me. She also mentioned maybe um, Ben Elton. And as it turns out, Ben Elton actually lives in Perth now. So th that one is, is um, somewhat easier to arrange than the other ones, as it turns out. For me, I'm, I'm found it really hard to come up with three people. Uh, I, I really like Stephen Fry, so I'd put him on the list. I might enjoy seeing him bouncing off um, Hugh Laurie, because classically um, there's the, um, what is that, a little bit of Fry and Laurie, I think was the name of the BBC comedy show. Um, and those two would just be hilarious together. Uh, but, you know, I also, Chris Pratt, uh, American comedian, I, I find him really funny. Um, who else? Rowan Atkinson would be would be interesting. Um, yeah, maybe Rachel Riley. I mean, she's uh, not only is, is she a brilliant polymath, she's also, uh, to my mind anyway, incredibly good looking. Uh, so um, it might be nice to have, have um, someone pr pretty, uh, almost as pretty as Caroline at the table. And um, yeah, so, so those are maybe the, the people that I would invite. I, if you've got an interesting set of people that you'd have to a dinner party, please do write down below and tell me why. Don't just tell me who the people are, tell me why you would invite them. Uh, yeah, I, I'd be interested to hear. I think it'd be really nice. So that's really all I've got. Um, short and sweet, this one. I'm, I'm going fine. Uh, in eight days from now, I'm gonna get my, my follow-up set of blood tests. So if those are the same as the first set of blood tests or, or thereabouts, then um, that means I'm, at least in the short term, I'm in remission from cancer, um, which, is, which will be lovely. Um, the other alternatives, which we may have to face, is either that um, we have an abnormal result or we have a terribly abnormal result, um, but we'll just deal with those in eight days' time. We've, we've just got to find out as it is though, I'm feeling okay. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm getting stronger. Um, I, am, I have still got uh, the um, postural hypertension. So if I stand up too fast, I do get um, lightheaded and I get out of breath pretty easily. Uh, but you know, I'm only 91 days after being on the operating table for a massive operation. So uh, I shouldn't be too upset with that. So please click that like and care button. Thank you so much for being on my care team. You really do make a difference to me. You, you help me um, feel like people care about me because it's very obvious that you do. And, um, and that, that does help me to, to carry on. So thank you very much for that. I hope you have a great day. And if you're one of those people that has, has trouble getting mobile, please try and get outside, get some sunshine, okay? Even if it's just for a few minutes and even if you just walk outside and then walk back. Okay, thanks very much from Paul in Perth. See you later, bye. So thank you for letting me be part of your um, three people invite to the dinner. That was lovely. That's Coke. Uh, Coke, yep, mm -hmm. yep, I believe you. Um, so I want to correct you. Oh, how so? The reason I invited you to my dinner is not because I want you to experience the benefit of those interesting people. Yeah. It's because I think that you are equally interesting oh. as a conversationalist, oh. if not more so, because those people don't have a zipper on their tongue, <laughs> and you do. Well, they might have one. Okay, perhaps thank we, you. Perhaps we can ask them. Yeah. Thank you, Caroline. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.